Good morning, students. Welcome to English 10, online lessons of English for schools. Today we start a very new Unit 7, Great People. Our today's lesson is called Prefix, Suffix, Affix. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to explain the meaning of new words. First, answer the questions. What is an affix? What do we need prefixes and suffixes for? Are there prefixes and suffixes in your language? Give some examples of prefixes and suffixes in English and in your language. Now listen to some information about affixes and check your answers to the questions in exercise 1. Unit 7, Lesson 1, Exercise 2. Prefixes and suffixes are generally known as affixes. Affixes create new words, usually by changing the meaning of a root word. A prefix is a letter or group of letters added to the beginning of a word to make a new word. In the word unhappy, un is a prefix added to happy. Un is a Latin word for not. A suffix, on the other hand, is a letter or group of letters added to the end of a word to make another word. The suffix ness, added to the end of the word together, creates a new word, togetherness. A good knowledge of English prefixes and suffixes will help students develop vocabulary without the need to always check their dictionary. Since English is a language that has thousands of words from other languages, a brief description of commonly used prefixes and suffixes would do much good. Now open the student's book at page 202 and study the table. Which one is for prefixes? And for suffixes? What languages do many affixes come from? Now let's check your answers. Table 1 is for prefixes. Table 2 is for suffixes. Many affixes come from Latin and Greek. Now use the words below to add more examples to each group. Cycle, two words. Wave, develop. Horror, danger, mobile, mistake, sphere, create, worker, form, two words, possible. Now let's check your answers. Cyclist, recycle, microwave, development, horrify, dangerous, immobile. Mistaken, spheroid, creative, co worker, formal, reform, impossible. Without using a dictionary, try to figure out the definitions of the words in bold. For help, analyze the meaning of the prefix, suffix, and root. Now let's check your answers. Replacement is a noun. Re is a prefix. Place is a root. Mant is a suffix. The definition is the act or process of replacing. Simplify is a verb. Simple is a root. Ify is a suffix. The definition is to make simple. Brighten is a verb. Bright is a root. En is a suffix. The definition is to make bright. Movements is a noun. Move is a root. Mens is a suffix. The definition is act or process or result of moving. Reviewer is a noun. Re is a prefix. View is a root. Er is a suffix. The definition is a person who writes reviews. Enrich is a verb. En is a prefix. Rich is a root. The definition is 
to make rich. Now open the student's book at page 204. Read the article and say what a humanoid is. A humanoid is a robot whose body shape is like a human body. Now find the words in the article that mean the study of the mechanics of a living body, the science or technology of designing, building and using robots, related to a particular person or private, moving by itself, and unsafe, life-threatening. Now let's check the answers. Number one is biomechanics. Number two is robotics. Number three is personal. Number four is automotive. Number five is dangerous. Now find more words with affixes and explain what they mean. Use the roots of the words below to make new words with Greek and Latin affixes. Then write your own sentences with the new words. At home, you're going to write a piece of news for a scientific magazine. Use at least five words from exercise 3. Our today's lesson is over. Goodbye.